Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I'm back to talk to you about the 2GIG SMKT8E-345 and its programming as a heat sensor. I've already showed you how to program the smoke detector. This is going to be the heat option, which is the same, it's the same sensor, it's just got three separate loops that can be programmed on it. So you have the smoke, this is going to be the heat, and there's also a freeze. So this is to detect heat. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that one here. Um, it's actually pretty easy to get in there. What we're going to do is we're going to press the gear in the bottom right hand corner of the co of the screen itself. We're going to enter the installer code which is 1561 from factory because this is a factory panel. I haven't changed anything on it. Um, we're going to go down to installer toolbox. At that point a new set of options will appear. Go ahead and hit panel programming. When you get to panel programming, you're going to see wireless zones. Go ahead and click on that. Now, uh, this is a, a fresh blank panel. You'll probably have zones programmed in yours already. So go ahead and just choose whatever the next available zone would be. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to go with zone one. And then you're going to choose the equipment code uh, once the new set of uh, options populates. So hit the hamburger icon on the right hand side. We are going to be choosing the SMKT, so we just got to find the right code here. So it is the 2058 for that device. Then you're going to go ahead and hit the down arrow. And then the sensor type. This is going to be a heat detector, so you're going to program in exactly like a fire. So 09 for 24 hour fire. At that point, hit the down arrow. It's going to go to the TXID. This is where we're going to learn the device in. So you would just want to go ahead and uh, you should have the back the back plate on this. If you don't, all you should have to do is just hint, uh, hit the tamper switch. That'll do the same thing. But all we're going to do here is just twist it off its back plate. Well, we got to put it in learn mode first. Sorry about that. So we'll go ahead and do this again. Twist it off its back plate. At that point, it'll show up. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So then you're going to go ahead and hit accept. At that point, you'll see the uh, TXID populated in there. You're going to hit the down arrow. It's going to ask you for the loop number. Now, this is important because, as I said, this, this one operates on three different loops. So you have loop one, which is the smoke detector. Loop two, which is what this is going to be for the heat detector. So once you've changed it to loop two to acknowledge that this is a heat detector, you're going to hit the down arrow. You want to put your voice descriptor in there. So in this case, I'll just call it living room. So you choose living. It, it actually kind of auto populates choices for you. So we're going to go living room heat and then hit done. At that point, our voice descriptor is programmed in there. You don't need to chime on this because this is a heat detection device. Smart areas assignment. I'm going to leave it on S1 for this for the first area. Sensor reports. We want that to be enabled for sure, so that way it'll report any uh, heat or alarm. Uh, and uh, sensor supervised. This is so it checks in with the system. At this point, this heat detector has been learned in and it is ready to go. So you will hit the back arrow until you're completely out of programming. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.